12 News continues to seek answers about why school bus transportation is off to a rough start this year. An attorney for the state education department says the state's considering an executive order in response to the ACLU's demands to fix the problems and ensure that students are getting to and from school on time. Hannah Cotter has the latest for us from Providence. Hannah. I've been in contact with both Ride and the bus company Datco. The education department says as of today, only two afternoon routes remain impacted. But some say concerns were raised about this possible problem months ago and that it should have been addressed sooner. Last week, 12 News reported that Ride put Datco on a corrective action plan after the bus company left several students stranded for hours and couldn't cover all its routes. The state's former contractor, first student, wound up taking back more than two dozen routes. The ACLU sent this letter to Ride, calling for the agency to fix the problem, including working with the governor on an executive order to allow DATCO to bring in drivers from other states. In response, a Ride attorney says they're considering that option. We were told Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green was not available for an on camera interview today. But here's what she told us last week after appearing on Newsmakers. I'm livid about this. This is unacceptable. They claimed that they were prepared. They assured us that they would be prepared. Even as Ride blames DATCO, union leaders tell us they raised concerns to Ride months ago before the contract was signed. DATCO did not have uh, the employees at that time. And, and, and there are multiple ways of dealing with that uh, through the bid process that Ride could have uh, foresaw and, and were frankly told that this would be a problem. A Ride spokesperson tells 12 News they had no reason to believe that DATCO wasn't capable of fulfilling its duties when the contract was awarded. And I reached out to DATCO's COO, who says there has been improvement this week and that the company is actively working on staffing and recruiting. Live in Providence, Hannah Cotter, 12 News.